What's up, guys? Peter Von Panda here. I'm at my actual local uh, convenience store that rents U-Haul vehicles. And I think I rented maybe even this van right here. No way to tell for sure. They have a number of them. But I needed a van. And so I actually rented it online. And for the first time ever, I actually tried renting it through the app. So as you might be able to see here, it says rent this van through uhaul.com and it might not be the easiest thing to see here because of the light but i do have the app downloaded and here it is uh there's my there's my reservation and now i want to get this thing picked up so i'm going to try to see how i do this all right so first lesson learned is i kept clicking on this pickup uh, for my pickup in the app and it never gives me a confirmed pickup anywhere so I actually logged into the U-Haul website uh, via my mobile browser here and then I logged in the account and it says pick up my truck so I'm gonna click on that so that wasn't very clear I wish U-Haul had certainly put this uh, functionality into the app directly otherwise I could have been here a long time trying to figure this out and then it just says let's get started use my location you bet that's fine and then it says find your truck uh, area is located on the U shape of the building which is where I'm at and it looks like I'm gonna be in this one BE 7670 C and then I just have to find my truck which is in fact the one that I thought it was here so I'm just gonna go ahead and click on uh, found my truck And is there any damage to the truck that has not already been identified with the sticker? Uh, no. And let me continue. I am fortunate enough to have State Farm, so I'm going to decline my collision or my damage protection. And uh, take a picture of yourself. We need the, this image to identify me. So I will go ahead and do that. All right, I took the photo. I'm going to use that photo. And I'm guessing they have someone around uh, on the other end to actually verify this. And I think that's going to verify maybe with my driver's license. Please take a picture of your driver's license and upload it for agents to compare against your headshot. All right, so I'll do that. Don't put your driver's license away after you do it because you need to take a photo of the back of the driver's license too. All right, now I guess we're in the live verification process here. It says, please wait. Someone's reviewing it. Nancy's reviewing it. Cool, Nancy. I appreciate that. Let's see what she says here. So the funny thing is, even though this avoids having to go to, like, the counter and talk to someone, you're actually kind of doing it, but uh, via the, the website. It's like I can talk to her, apparently, if I needed to, say, my... Uh, face has undergone significant changes from her driver's license and I guess one of the things that is probably worth noting here is that if you don't look like your driver's license photo if you have a really old li license or something like that or a really um, wacky photo that might hinder your ability to kind of use this not sure how long this takes hopefully not too long they do recommend that you get to your uh, pickup a little early because this process may take a little while and they don't want you cutting in on your rental time especially with u-hauls when you might actually be renting it by the hour as opposed to by the day like a lot of car rentals peter can you please go to your profile and correct your expiration date and driver's license okay i guess i need to do that all right went ahead and updated my profile don't know that this makes it a lot easier but uh i will say my profile error was my own so i won't blame them for that hopefully she sees that change done immediately though Apparently she does see it, although I don't have a continue button activated yet. Another nice greeting from Nancy. I've been approved. Please click continue below. Pending charges. Uh, the van is 20 bucks, and then I estimated I'm going to use it uh, for a 25 mile each way trip for 50 total miles. Pending charges, 65 bucks. Looks like it is correct, and I'm just going to go here and select. I want to pay and then continue and I'm going to agree to terms and conditions and now I'm almost done I've got to confirm the odometer and fuel level before driving away 
and the black lock box that I'm going to need is over by the door and it is number one and there is my code so let me try it right now so here are the boxes and it looks like I just roll in the code here to and unlock there we go good to go I'm gonna lock it here and then roll back to zeros now let's go verify odometer and whatnot all right back in here and I uh, obviously have my key so I'm gonna mark I retrieved my key and now we're gonna double check the fuel level should be around full and fuel is full so that's okay and the mileage says 3186 and that is actually what it says so so far so good and then you have to confirm this with a photo so I guess I'll go ahead and take a photo here love that 2x zoom feature on the iPhone and we're gonna go ahead and use this photo and is the truck clean it is I'm gonna hit continue and your truck is ready and I've got it till 5 okay I think that's it all I got to do is head out now and return it when I get back awesome so in the truck here got it driving around man this thing is a pig on wheels it's certainly no Nissan GTR, but you know, it, it fits the bill and I think the price point is right. So I'm gonna use it here, drive it around, kind of do what I need to do, and then uh, we'll return it and see what the return process looks like. All right guys, got the truck back safe and sound to the rental place here, and I logged back in. So what you can see here is I'm back in my portal and on the website, remember, not in the app, in the browser, and it says return my truck. So I'm gonna tap on that and see if we can get this started. Now, uh, make sure that your rental place is within Wi-Fi or cellular uh, connection because otherwise it could be really tough to do. I did gas it up. Don't forget the gas cap is actually right next to the door here, which is kind of nice. And then it tells me how to return my truck. I'll need to be at Family Pantry. I put it back in the same spot that I took it out from. So I'm just gonna hit continue here. I'm going to share my location because that's how it's going to verify that I'm at the right place. Enter mileage in the odometer. Okay. So it needs to confirm everything, uh, mileage in the odometer. And uh, I'm back in the car here. Uh, tap to enter the mileage. I'm going to do that. And it says 3253. Zero. That's a match and enter fuel level, which I gas this bad boy all the way up. So I think I just tap here to full and that's green. And I gotta take a photo to confirm all of this. So we'll do that too. And use that photo. Looks like it uploads it and you can edit it or delete that one if you need to I'm just gonna hit continue here and did I have any trouble braking well it gives me a little questionnaire just make sure as the car is in good condition didn't overheat no electrical problems um, yes one of the dash lights is on and it is actually I don't know if you can see it right there but it is the low tire pressure light I did take a look at the tires and they didn't look low so I didn't uh, sweat it no collision or damage and I'm just gonna note the low tire pressure here okay and cleanliness yes taking up upload two photos to confirm the truck is clean holy smokes first standing on the driver's side of the vehicle take one photo of the cab second from the back of the truck into the cargo area holy smokes all right i guess that's what we gotta do all right took my necessary photos proven that it was clean and there's no damage click continue again confirm parking location take a photo of where you park the truck 
Another family uses photo to locate the truck. All right, let me take one more. I took a photo of where I left the truck. Let continue again. Uh, here are my pending charges. Looks like it was a little more than I thought. Must have put on more miles than I thought. Oh, I guess I do agree with the charges. So I'll just select your credit card to complete my truck return. It should tell me how to return my keys now. Hopefully just back in the same box that I took them from. Next steps, make sure all your belongings and then put the keys in the drop box slot. So that's it. Um, I will say it was a little bit more than I thought based on the mileage. And it may have just been because uh, the route that Google Maps um, thought I was gonna use may not have been the one that it actually took me on as I was using it. So 80 bucks, you know, it's pretty nice to have a truck the size for that. I will say though the uh, process, because it's all manual, the pros and cons are that you don't have to deal with a person, especially at these like mini mart things where you might have to stand in line and wait for a person to be available. You can kind of just do it. I will say the bad thing is uh, it's not the, the quickest and easiest thing to do, but I get that they need pictures to verify, you know, mileage and fuel level and cleanliness of the truck. So that's just kind of uh, part of the nature of it. I guess that's what those guys do when they're um, you know, checking out a car for you or checking it back in, just kind of making sure all that happens. And so you're kind of doing that all on your own. So pretty nice. Um, I probably use it again. It's just kind of nice not to uh, have to be bound by office hours and things like that. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, I would like to see it in the app as opposed to just on the website, uh, or at least the U-Haul website here uh, via the mobile browser, but it all does work. So there you have it, a very detailed look of how to rent a U-Haul via the mobile website. Peter Von Panda out.